Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. This is today's question, not difficult at all, but to make it a little bit more challenging and to add some fun, we will not solve it using integration by parts. Let's label the question as equation 1 and then apply bound inverting variable strategy. Change the x become pi minus x, dx become negative dx, pi become 0, of course, 0 become pi. Sin x become sin pi minus x. Using angle sum identity, we know this is equal to sin pi cos x minus cos pi sin x. Because sin pi is 0 and cos pi is negative 1, therefore it becomes sin x. Combine all info, we get q equals to integral pi to 0 pi minus x and then multiply sine power 4x multiply negative dx. Of course, we can cancel the negative by swapping the integration bound. Label it as equation 2. Here we can apply equation 1 plus equation 2. So now we have 2q equals to pi and then integral 0 to pi sine power 4x dx. Of course, we can move the 2 in the left-hand side become divided by 2 in the right-hand side. Let's do some identity of trigonometry. We know that sine power 2x is equal to 1 minus cosine power 2x. Meanwhile, from double angle identity of cosine, cosine power 2x is equal to 1 over 2 and then multiply 1 plus cosine 2x. Combine both, we have sine power 2x equals to 1 over 2 and then multiply 1 minus cosine 2x. Power 2 to the both side, we have sine power 4x equals to 1 over 4 and then multiply 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine power 2 2x. For cosine power 2 2x, we can use the double angle identity again. While the fronts remain the same, the cosine power 2 2x become 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 cosine 4x. So we have sine power 4x equals to 3 over 8 minus 1 over 2 cosine 2x plus 1 over 8 cosine 4x. Replace sine power 4x into the previous Q that we found. Q become 3 pi over 16 integral 0 to pi dx minus pi over 4 integral 0 to pi cosine 2x dx plus pi over 16 integral 0 to pi cosine 4x dx which is equals to 3 pi over 16 and then multiply pi minus 0 minus pi over 8 sine 2x and then plus pi over 64 sine 4x we know sine 0 and sine 2 pi as well as sine 4 pi are equals to 0. Which means the final answer of this question is equals to 3 pi square divided by 16. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue to support my channel, subscribe, give a like and share my video with others. See you soon for my next video. Bye bye.